Scott, just devastating down there, uh, and you can see reports covering parts of Alabama into Georgia. We even had reports as far north as parts of northern Kentucky from some storms earlier today and more numerous. The wind damage reports all part of the same storm system that brought us the heavy rain today and will bring us a snow chance as we head into tomorrow. On the back edge of this weather system, we're starting to see some snow showers. Milwaukee south through Chicago, just north of St. Louis. These will continue to move from north to south. We didn't get any snow today, but we did get that heavy rain officially in the rain gauge 0.87 in Indianapolis. We were expecting anywhere from a half inch to an inch of rain. No rain falling right now should be a, an easier morning drive for us with clouds and 36 degrees currently. Wind chill thanks to those winds out of the north in the 20s. That's going to be an issue. Upper teens and low 20s early tomorrow. This cold air in place over the warmer waters of Lake Michigan. We do get a few lake effect snow bands tomorrow. Off and on snow showers in our forecast. Just be prepared. Might be enough for a quick coating, maybe up to an inch in a few places. But other than that, a pretty quiet weather pattern as we get into the start of the weekend. Friday forecast clouds, a couple snow showers, and it is going to be cold. Temperatures in the 30s start to finish tomorrow. We are back into some sunshine for Saturday. Temperatures in the upper 20s to start. 30s midday. We don't make it out of the 30s the next couple of days. And your seven day forecast. Just be on the lookout. Some snow showers tomorrow might be enough for a few slick roads. 34, sunshine 37 on Saturday. We are back into the 40s on Sunday and early next week, 50s. But the weather pattern stays active. Two rain chances Monday and again on Thursday.